Serki Fulani of Igogon Oyo State, Saliu Abdukada, who was evicted from his base some weeks ago, has said there is no way farmers and herders will not clash as cows must eat grass. He, however, said there should be some sort of compensation for affected farmers. He said, cow must eat grass. That is certain, but the public notion towards Fulani as kidnappers is wrong and I would never agree or succumb to that because it is a false allegation against all of us, Fulani, he told Punch. When asked if that was enough justification for farms to be destroyed by cattle, Amkada said, no, but there is no way that farmers and herdsmen would not cross each other. For instance, a driver would not pray for an accident, but it is certain it would eventually happen. It is the same for cow and open grazing. It happens and is sort of a mistake. He, however, described any herder whose cattle eat farm crops and refuse to compensate the farm owner as senseless, condemning such herders. Anyone whose cows eat farm crops and does not compensate the owner of the farm is senseless. If it is a deliberate act, it is wrong. Let's look at it. How many farmers can cows eat from that that would feed or satisfy them? Cows are never satisfied. It's not possible. However, I have assisted many farmers to get compensation for the destruction of their farms by cows. There was no case of farm destruction reported to me that I didn't send people to go and investigate the destruction of the farms and whenever we establish that it was true, I would order the Fulani to pay money to the farmer. An example was the case of the Aguru family in Igogon and many more. I have, re I have a record of issues affecting the farmers. Speaking further, the Serki Fulani said the Yoruba and the Fulani in Igogon were living together peacefully until the recent allegations of kidnapping levied against its people. Faulting the allegations, Abkada said the kidnappers were actually of Yoruba extraction, noting that some Fulani have been victims of such. He said we were living in harmony. I don't know how what caused the present strain in our relationship it is not clear to me but what i noticed is that the barapa people suddenly didn't want to see fulani people around again there was no quarrel between us but i observed recently there were allegations that fulani people were behind the kidnapping of the people in the area which is a lie from my findings the people in igogo were behind most of the kidnappings in the area the indigenous were responsible for the kidnapping of the people and it came to a point that some of the victims were escaping from them. Then they resorted to keeping the victims in their homes while negotiating for ransom with victims' relations. I then made efforts to report them to the police boats in Ibarakwa and at the police headquarters in Ibadan. There was one incident in which a Fulani man was adopted. We arranged for several vigilantes who discovered the house where the man was kept. Eight suspects were arrested in connection with the crime through police investigation. Out of the eight suspects, six are still in the police custody. One of them escaped but was rearrested. He's still with the police. He has not been taken to court. For Four of those arrested are detained at Agodi Prison, as I speak with you. The Seriki Fulani dismissed all claims that he was a kingpin to Fulani kidnappers in Ibarakba. He said the abduction is as a result of collaborations between Fulani and the Yoruba people in the area. He said there is nothing like that. I have been the person reporting the case of kidnapping of both Yoruba and Fulani victims in the area. The records are there with the police, both in Erua and Ibadan. People should take the pain to find out how can I be a godfather to the kidnappers. The majority of kidnapped victims in Ibarakwa were Fulani people. And if I count them, they are up to 24. On the other hand, the number of Yoruba that were kidnapped in Igogon cannot even be up to 4. Okay, the majority of the kidnapped victims, okay, 24. Why the Yoruba uh, ones are 4? Well, 
this one has been speaking lately. I think he's trying to reset, you know, to, to settle down uh, since he left or he was evicted or chased out from Ibadan or Ibarakwa uh, village. He said there's no way, you know, from first uh, the first uh, statement he made, that there's no way farmers and Ed Esme will not clash. And definitely cow cows must eat grass. Why should it should it be like that when we have alternatives to this thing so that it will end? So is it how we are going to be settling? According to what he said, uh, he, he tried to settle, he tried to do this, he tried to do that. So now it means that what people are saying that this, of of course, one thing is that he has, at least there are two things to this thing. One part is they are kidnapping. That is the allegation. Another part is that the their cows are eating up a uh, farmers' crops. It is another evidence that it is not farmers that are looking for trouble because farmers are always in a particular location. They never move. It is you people that are moving. And we have, even if people always talk about oh, how it's being done in other places, how it's being done or the modern way of doing it, without being told, are we not reasoning again? Without being told, can't we even think of, oh, let us even have a particular place. I can go and be getting the food for the for the for the cows so that they will be in a particular place so that all these problems will be eradicated we will not be facing it how long are we going to continue like this not to talk of when people have already suggested the way forward the solution the profile solution you don't want to go about it you said uh, uh, cows must eat grass and they will continue to pay this thing. so if they almost eat grass they just that means the grass the, what is it called the the crops that the farmers have planted, those are the things they are going to use because those are the things that will be available for them. Without being told, why? Just like the way the uh, the those who have poultry, they don't take their cows, they don't take their pigs all over the place. They don't take their not cows, they don't take their their chicken, they don't take it all over the place. They are they build build place for them and they will go and buy their food and whatever they are going to consume and put it in a particular place and that's why they are stationed in a place so why is it that even if we don't even hear that this is how it's being done in other climes why can't we even emulate the way poetry is being organized so that you have even your your so-called president that is your a uh, 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 man does he take his cow all over the place at least from pictures that we have seen they are in a a a a, a particular place a, a reserved place for them, whether it is fence or not. I don't know why is it that it cannot be done the same way. Why is it that it cannot be done the same way? And you see the way, and you people are not even encouraging, like himself, he said, you are not even encouraging the 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 the, the poor people among them to be stationed in the place because they are even suffering. And again, coming to say that, uh, oh, it is not true. It is not true. They are not the ones. But this uh, issue of uh, s men doing all manner of things, it's not only in your place now. Nah. It's not only in Ibarakwa. It's uh, everywhere, every nook and cranny in this country. Let's even leave the south, uh, the north, because they are used to it. That is their way of life. They can do whatever they want to do to themselves. But as we speak, there is no place in in the south, not to talk of a, a, a middle base, in Benue and the, the rest of places like that. There is no place. Let's even focus on south there's no place every almost every, all the villages we have the presence of this uh, estimate and they do the same thing so what are you telling us they do the same thing of course you are not going to come out and tell us that uh, this is not it but your people have been testifying to the fact that yes they are doing it but it's not everybody but what the question and the worries of many nigerians is that why is it that the few ones are not being treated are not being arrested and how long will this continue? Oh, that cows must eat grass. Which grasses are going? They going to use? Is it not somebody else's farm? Somebody else, somebody else's business? And as a, as a result, how many of them do pay compensation that you are talking about? Why should they go and eat up the decision? Because there is nothing like you planting your your crops and harvest it and get your money the way the proper way. Compared to somebody who not be negotiating all your efforts and all of that, who is going to be going through that route? Do things in a normal way. You say no. That it has to be it has to be done in an abnormal way that will continue to cause chaos. It there's more to all these things, all this uh, cattle rearing in the south. There's more to that. That's what we've been talking about. So it's unfortunate, really unfortunate. 
uh, with the statement of this man. Okay, but you were the local uh, Aya, Ayatollah in Igogon. You assisted in negotiating release of kidnapped victims plus grass and crops and the same, sir. Open grazing isn't professional. Better to cut the grass and feed the cattle plant cattle than destroying food production. That is it. You don't have to be waiting and be destroying uh, if the uh, grass are meant for whatever, cows are meant for what is it. Let me ask you a question. Is crop planted by farmers, farmer grass? I suggest you and your full learning people need education so that they can stop farmer. They have told them they don't want to agree. They know. These people use their uh, anti-clockwise thinking to set the nation backward. How can we live together with such thinking without a good constitution that everyone must obey these people keep defending their people while the leaders of the victims keep betraying their people these people are too ancient why can't they advance like others do why what stops you from keeping your cows in a place and feed them there the rate by which fulanis defend the killers as others is alarming after they will say we are profiling why won't we when you refuse to condemn the barbaric acts of your tribesmen, this man is not normal. In this 21st century, which country allow people to move cattle from one village to another, from one street to another, destroying farm produce? And the worst of it is that the farmers are being killed and done, you know, done a lot of things. So, guys, leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.